All right, this is number six on our common assessment. We have 93,114 divided by 63. All right, so if you remember what um, in and out is, mmm, in and out sounds delicious. Not only is it what a burger's all about, it's also what, what division's all about, right? Or math is all about. We know this is gonna be in. Our division sign is N. And our 63 is going to be out, right? In and out. So what that means is that 93,000 is going to go inside my house and 63 is going to go on the outside. Now we have to figure out 63, how many times did I go into this giant number? Well, it's going to be cake because we know 63, let's pretend these numbers don't exist over here. Uh, Put a blocker on them or something. Let's see here. Pretend they don't exist. We're gonna ignore these guys for right now. We're just gonna think how many times can 63 go into 93? Well, we know one time, right? That's not a one. One time. Because two times would be 120 something, so that's not gonna work. So we'll say 63 goes here. We're gonna subtract 93 minus 63. And we'll get. Zero for our first number. Nine minus six equals three. So we have 30. We aren't done. Now we do have to worry about those next numbers. We're gonna bring down this one, right? And he becomes 301, right? I brought my one down. So now we have to figure out how many times can 63 go into 301? Well, that's kind of tough to find out. But what is easier to find out is 60, which is close to 63, right? And 300, which is close to 301, right? These numbers are easier to work with because I can actually just slash my second zero or slash my zero. If I take one zero out of here, I can take one zero out of here. And now I'm thinking, all right, how many times can six go into 30? Go into 30. And that's a lot easier because six times five equals 30, right? So we know 63 and 301. So let me see what 6 times 5 would be, or 63 times 5, and if that's close to our number. Um, 63 times 5. Okay, and that is going to be a nice little pound for us. 5 times 3 equals 15. Bring my one up here. 5 times 6 equals 30. Plus, I have that one there, so it becomes, I'm sorry, 31. So we know that 5 times 63 equals 315, which is too big. Well, that's all right, because we know it's going to be times 4 then. So let's do the same thing, 63 times 4. There's my division, division line. Let me erase this, because this might have thrown you guys off. All right, 4 times 3 equals 12. Bring my one up here. 4 times 6 is 24, plus that 1 equals 25. So that's the number we are going to be working with. I'm going to take him and bring him over here. And I'm going to subtract. 1 minus 2 we can't do. We have to borrow from the next number, but we can't because that is a 0. So we'll have to borrow from this number. And if I borrow from him, hey, let's do that. If I borrow from him, he becomes a two, right? So let me just. So now he's two. This zero isn't zero anymore. He gets the one treatment, and he becomes ten. Let me make him smaller. All right, so he's ten, but I have to borrow from him still. So he becomes nine, right? I'm gonna write it in an even different color. And no, I'm gonna leave him red. So he's nine. And I have to add a one over here. Man, that was messy. Hopefully you guys have more space than I do. So eleven minus two, that's something we can do. We get nine from it. I don't know why it's not changing colors from me. Okay, we get nine. Now we have nine minus five, which equals four. And then 2 minus 2, which equals 0. 
And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the next number, which is also a 1, and bring it down. And this becomes 491. And you repeat the process. How many times can, let's say, 60 go into what number is this close to? 500. So let's take 6 into 50. How many times can we do that? And you'll get an answer and figure it out. All right. That's as far as I'm helping you on this one. Have a good day.